Yes, sir. What's going on? Well, nothing much. Uh, we'll get started here. Uh, we'll start with Cam. You can go ahead, Cam. Hey, Patrick. How you doing, sir? Happy holidays to you. Thank you so much. Same to you, brother. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Sir, I want to talk, I want to ask you about leadership. Um, obviously, it's, it seemed that some leadership was lacking in the playoffs. Or why, at least why did you say that? Well, I think down the, personally, I think down the stretch, like I think somebody needed to step up and kind of get the team extra motivated and kind of finish off the nuggets. Um, that's what I thought was lacking. Now I want to ask you, if you thought that, if you agreed, do you think that's lacking? And then what's looking forward to this season, what's going to be the answer to that? Uh, I don't think it's leadership. I think it, I think anything involving you being up real big and losing, you win the lottery, you win a lot of money, you lose it. That's not lack of leadership. I think that's lack of somewhat of toughness, mental toughness. Okay. I think that's what we have to address. I think, uh, you know, we our leaders are obviously Kawhi PG, myself and Lou, you know, my, Marcus Moore is also not, and you inserted Baca, but uh, uh, 3-1 league is not lack of leadership. I think that's just lack of uh, mental toughness to go out there and finish the job. Okay, how do you address that move going into this season? Uh, just put yourself in more situation to be mental tough. Uh, I don't know where, whether it's, I don't know, you have 10 reps to do on the bench press, do 12. I mean, that's how you build mental toughness. So now when you get in the trenches and, you know, things aren't going right, you have something to build off of it. And uh, collectively as a group, you know, mental toughness, I think that was the key. And uh, and being in a situation where losing 3-1 three, three, gives you that mental toughness going in next season. So it's all a process. Move over to Farbot. Hey, Pat, welcome back. Um, we've heard Zoo, Marcus, and PG all kind of talk about how there's, there's a lot of extra motivation going into this season. Is that something you've seen collectively as a group and from yourself where everybody's, you know, at a different level this year than last year? Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that for sure. All right, we'll go over to Miriam. Sorry about that. Hey, Pat, welcome back. Welcome back to work. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Happy holidays, all that. Um, yeah, so what's, what so far is different around there with Ty Lu in charge than in the past few years? Uh, I think more of a uh, cooler uh, work setting, uh, not a lot of extra stress, extra stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it's our first day of practice. I really can't uh, <laughs> I'll let you <laughs> kind of know how to train the camp. But uh, uh, the attitudes around here, you know, guys are pissed off, which is which is good. You know, you should be. We should be pissed off. Uh, after our exit last year out the playoffs. And uh, I think that's, you know, that within itself is extra motivation there, you know, come and train the camp, you know, with a team put together, look good on paper, and now it's out there, you 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 have to go out there and you know, build from it. And then when you come up short, you get kind of pissed off and, you know, that, 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 that gives you a little wood to kind of burn inside, you know, for the fire. So uh, I just say, look, everybody's just kind of pissed off. So yeah, it is, you know, uh, a little quieter workplaces, guys are more locked in and more focused, and that's the way it should be. All right, thank you. Move over to Andrew Gray. Pat, hey, good to see you. Welcome back. Drew, what up, baby? Hey, you know, usually when you start training camp, you would have been playing pickup with the guys for weeks at this point, getting mm -hmm. a feel, even if it's informal, you still kind of have a little bit of understanding. What's the what's it like this year when I'm sure there's been some you know, maybe some one or two guys working out together, but this is really the first time and there's only five days before preseason. Like how fast do you feel like you guys have to get a good start uh, with not much preparation before this? I mean, I think our preparation came I mean, a lot of guys that were here last year are here also. So, um, so collectively when it comes to, you know, bonding and stuff like that, it's kind of easy because you don't have to implement a, a lot of new guys, but you have, you know, surge and, you know, other guys, you know, new guys come in and, you know, you want to add them to it, but it won't be tough. You know, much of, most of our core is still here. And, uh, you know, it's the same mindset for us. Uh, we're fortunate to be able to have a coach and um, T. Lou who's, you know, uh, who's been there before, been in the trenches before, uh, 
no discredit to Doc, of course, not at all. You know, much respect to Doc. He gave me an opportunity to be a, a starting point guard. Much respect to Doc. You know, you got T. Lou also, you know, to bring something different, you know, something more dynamic. And, you know, and and, and, and the feel is that, you know, we want to, you know, get our lick back. You know, when I mean lick back, I mean like, you know, your mom, you know, somebody hits you when you're growing up, your mom tell you, you hit them back. You know, that's getting your lick back. You know, we got hit by the Nuggets and, you know, we want to get our lick back. And, and, and I think that's our focus. Yeah. Hey, and Pat, and follow up, when, when Montrez went to the Lakers, you had tweeted what? Uh, I know you're, obviously you're very close with them. Like, I guess, how surprised really were you? Um, did that really catch you off guard? That, that he, did you, that really catch you off guard that he left? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take one last one from Ohm. You got Ohm. Hey, Pat, it's great seeing you, man. Um, you, brother. As one of the leaders of this team, I'm, you're always looking for ways, I know you, you know, to think about how to improve um, the Clippers and – when you look back this um, this off season, I know it was a quick turnaround, but when you think about what went wrong last season, what has to happen this season in your mind? What do you guys have to do to kind of make sure you avoid that same kind of finish and, and be better and be the guys that you guys thought you were going to be? Uh, listen, honestly, you know, when you talk about a 3-1 league, of course, uh, it all involves mental toughness. Uh, talking about closing out a game, it all involves mental toughness. Uh, Collectively, you know, how we've been put in situations to be mentally tough throughout the year. Collectively, you know, I don't know. But um, I'll tell you one thing, we have motivation now. And uh, now is what matters. You know, you really can't look in the past and see what we didn't do well, or not do well, or did do well. But, you know, you live like that, you know, stress yourself out. So, uh, it's a new team, new coach, new year. We have our goals. We set our goals high, and it's up to us to uh, go out there and uh, make sure uh, we hit them. How long did that taste of that loss stick with you? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't think it went away. Thanks, Pat. No problem. Thanks, Pat.